I enjoy the massive scale of things. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be the intro. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Anna, and I have a Korean American oppa with me for this video. 안녕하세요. Introduce 안녕하세요. yourself. What's up? No, no, totally. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is John. I'm from New York. I may look 21. <laughs> But I'm, I'm sorry. I may look 21, so you know, establish that fact. But I'm not. I'm 32. So he's oppa, and yeah, yeah. you were born in Korea, but you moved to America when you were four years old. Four. He's a dentist, plus he's like an influencer too. You have way more Instagram followers than me. I, I, uh, I Tell make me some... the reason why you think that you have so many people watching. Because I'm a wholesome ass guy. Oh, sorry, the lighting changed. <laughs> okay. We got a spotlight now, this is great. You got a spotlight, okay. Why yeah. do you think so many people follow you? Well, I just said it, I'm a, I'm a wholesome guy, and people like seeing wholesome content. Actually, no, uh, you are good at making content, I must say. You are good. <laughs> Wait, but you didn't acknowledge the fact that I'm wholesome. I don't think he's wholesome. <laughs> what in the from, world? from the conversations that I've had with him, I don't think he's wholesome, but we have the same personality type. Maya's Bray's personality type. The best people, ENTJ. You're alienating like 99% of the population. <laughs> high performers, high achieving people. Okay? That's what I think. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about your experiences living away from Korea. Okay. And like, but you come back a lot. I love Korea. I love Seoul. You love Seoul. Would you ever want to live here? Fully. I would love to. If you, your salary was the same. Because it's not the same, you guys. It's not. It's not. Wait, were you always living in New York? <laughs> My parents live in Jersey. Okay. I live in New York. Yeah. Last 10 years I've been there. Last 10 years. So and where were you before? Jersey. And then oh. North Carolina for uh, oh, really? college. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you have an older brother, you said. Yes, he's on the oh. West Coast. He's, he's that West Coast, best Coast life. Okay, what do you prefer? West Coast, East Coast? East Coast all the way. East Coast all the way. I picked yeah, yeah, yeah. it, but I really think I'm more East Coast vibe. It's because you're, you're very fast. Yeah, Bali yeah. Bali. I do like the weather of LA and all that, but it's just like... It's I a think, different vibe. It's yeah. a chilled out, serene Love vibe. every all the places I've lived. Seoul, London is similar to New York. It's just very fast-paced city right. vibe. Do you think when you get older, like really old, do you want to like slow down, maybe move to like a West Coast vibe or... Would you? I think so. Really? When I get older, yeah. I just want to chill out with my husband. I feel like you're going to be the same when you're like 75. <laughs> you're going to be like, Bujik? <laughs> He's always been this kind of personality since yeah. young. Oh, true. You I was not. I was really shy and introvert. Mm, Do you uh -huh. agree with all this? Very self-assured. Yes. You have almost impossible goals that you want to reach. Uh, no, nothing's impossible. <laughs> It goes back to the self right? True, DJ. Super <laughs> honest. Are you honest? I'm too blunt. Yeah, I've been told I'm too uh, blunt. That's a, that's a flaw. That is a flaw. Sometimes white lies are a good thing. Or being tactful. Being tactful and how honest you are. Uh, not lies. Not, I yeah, never think lie. lies are... No. Why, why lies ever appropriate? Sometimes they are. Really? Yeah, sometimes like what? they are. Like if it's not causing harm? Yeah. Maybe if it's to someone that's not that close to Yeah, you. I think I would be brutally honest with the people that I really care right, about. Right, right. Yeah. Because they will be accepting of the yeah. truth. If people I don't really care about, I'm just like... Ah, right, it's not as important. You look great. <laughs> okay, definitely need a white lie there if you're going to say that. Yeah, you better get, you better get punched. <laughs> okay, tries to do everything at all times. Naturally, that's my state, but I am trying to change that. Yeah, he's trying to change that. He and said. I have recently, mm. and my life has gotten so much better. That's good. I feel way more... Chill. Like an Human ocean. Being. Ocean. Wavy. wavy. Yeah, I'm a wavy. Enjoys guy. attention. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I always have. You know, like my parents told me when they realized, like, I was kind of strange. <laughs> Why? I think I was five years old. Okay. We were at this church event. There's this, like, huh. old Dorebang machine. Huh. And all the kids are just kind of standing around watching. Yeah. And then I just, like, I just went Let up there. Let it be the. Yeah, I just took it. And I was like, I did the kedarichu. And then I love the fact that people were were staring. I was just, I just kept doing it because I think it reinforced. Wow. Okay. I was not like this. I love that. You're confident in your choices. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Me too. Go big or go home attitude. Fully. Whether that's work or play. Right. I mean, that's I why think I, go, so. I go ape shit. <laughs> I'm sure you do too. I, I mean, the first time that we met, I think it was like 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and you tell one. Go big or go home. You step up because other people frustrate you. <laughs> They're just not doing the job well enough. Oh. A part of it could be from frustration. I think part of it just could be from the fact that someone has to be responsible. Right? You have like leadership tendencies. I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy it. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I think. 
thing, always in like group holidays or like university group presentations, I always end up taking charge. Ah, uh, just yeah. naturally. Yeah, naturally. Do you, do you sometimes regret doing it? <laughs> of course, you regret doing it all the time. But then you're just like, you, other people do frustrate me. I'm just not putting it on. I'm just like. Oh. No, no, no. But in those instances, I think it's better mm. to actually take that like natural leadership tendency, oh. but empower others to do the do the task. What's up? Are you competitive? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Who is it? Who isn't competitive? A lot of people just don't really care as much. Ah, do you care about winning or you care about like proving yourself? Yeah, proving to myself that right. I can do it. So you don't care necessarily about beating other people? No, I don't think so. So I think that's the difference that uh, just needs to be clarified because uh, some people hate to losing lose. to other people. Uh, okay, okay. I just hate losing to myself. Yeah, me too. It does like working out or like whatever it is. Right. Like setting PRs. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a completely change of topic. Nightlife. I don't know anything about it. It, yes, you do. Don't lie. Nightlife in Korea. You've been here for a week. It's my bedtime. It's 9 p.m. So how is it different? Your nightlife and Seoul. The scale. The scale is completely different. Yeah. And I enjoy the massive scale of things. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot I was talking to a fifth grader, guys. First off, I need to establish the fact that I feel blessed to be in New York. I think it's the greatest city You are in blessed. So much opportunity there. Nightlife, if you're in an Asian heavy circle, yeah. it's not that I don't go to places that are not Asian, mm. but usually I'll end up at... Yes, know. one of those. And there's not that many. There's yeah. that social, there's, like there's mission, yeah. right? you know them. Yeah. Yeah. And then K-Town I don't go to as often anymore. It's too, too ratch. Mm. And again, like I said, I look 21, but I'm not anymore. So I, try not I don't to know what he said it with so much confidence. Self-assured, self-assured. I'm kind of delusional too. What's up? How do you approach someone if you like the look of them? What would you usually do? I'm actually a lot more careful about doing it now. Yeah, now. You oh. know I used to talk to girls on the train? The subway here? Here? Yeah. On the train? I was so never super happens. social. <gasps> they must have been freaked out. Initially, yeah. but I like to think that because I was like... Um, Outgoing. Outgoing, but I also acknowledged the fact that I wasn't supposed to. Uh, I think they're like, okay, this guy's not like, you know, psycho. totally uncalibrated psycho. <laughs> Still to this day, one of the cutest girls I've ever met. Mm -hmm. We were both on the green line. Line two. Yeah, line two, yeah, <laughs> love on line two. It's just like over like eight years ago. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. But like literally everyone would be staring at you on the train. Oh, I mean, it was like somewhat empty. Okay, part. okay, okay. I wrote, a, I wrote a little note on, oh, my, that's cute. Uh, on my pad, that's cute. on my iPhone. I know I'm not supposed to yeah. talk to you, but yeah. I... I just thought you were like That's really cute. stylish. I, I just pretty. imagine you in a cart full of people being like, hi, I like uh, you. No, 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 because that would be embarrassing for her. So I did it like, yeah, okay, I, I yeah. showed her the... Yeah, yeah. consider of the other person. Right, because that could be alarming for yeah. someone. Yeah, for sure. How long does it take for when you're dating someone in New York uh -huh. before you make it official, like girlfriend, boyfriend? Because in Korea, like, like I told them, rule of three. That's crazy to me. And rule of three. Some you want to explain what the rule of three is? So rule of three is like from the first meeting, whether it's a targeting or like your first date, after three dates, the girl expects the guy to bring up like <laughs> uh, this kind of thing by the third day. If he hasn't, then it's considered like quite rude. Really? Really rude. I never knew that. So tell me, how long do you take normally? My last two relationships, I didn't take that long. So I think it was a, a month max. Yeah, but that's reasonable. A month max. Yeah. It and was more than three dates though. Me and my boyfriend, we actually only see each other once a week. Yeah. It obviously depends on the person. How often do you see your <laughs> the once a week was what I thought was perfect for me with mm -hmm. my ex ex girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I saw my ex girlfriend a lot more frequently. Oh really? If you um, live close, then I guess it's fine. Yeah, I think it's a logistical thing, yeah, a yeah. schedule thing, and then also how much time you want to spend. Yeah. If you have like completely different lifestyles, I think yeah. it's actually hard because that means that you have to carve out time that you yeah. wouldn't normally have. Yeah. But that's why I love like being able to work out with a partner. Yeah, you see, yeah, because then you can still. It's not even do like your you're thing. carving out yeah, yeah, extra yeah. time to yeah. do stuff. That's why lifestyle similar. Is important, I for think. sure, for yeah. sure. So have you been able to do that with your past girlfriends? Um, with both of them, we had some common interests, mm. for sure. I still think that the, I've connected with like some friends mm. who are girls better in terms of lifestyle. Mm. But hopefully my next partner, I can, I can find someone who shares that. Yeah. You're gonna have no problem. <laughs> You're gonna have no problem. After this video, I'm good. <laughs> I'm really interested in how you grew up in America. Oh, well. yeah, oh these I, are great questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've already experienced my in the UK but I don't know how you like did you feel like you're a minority or did you fit in with everyone I actually love the fact that I was the only Korean oh, kid you really likes attention 
I was different. <laughs> you I, was, were different. I, totally, I totally loved it. Yeah. Was it mostly majority white or? Yeah. yeah. I grew up in a town that was like an hour away from the city. Mm. So not that many Koreans. There was like some families that were like in Samsung, which mm. is like my, where my dad. Mm. Originally, we were supposed to move back to Korea oh, when okay. I was nine oh. and when my brother was 13. Okay. But then at that point, from age four to nine, I'm basically rooted yeah, in America. I've already grown up, grown up there. I had friends there. I was playing yeah. baseball. So I was like, hell no way. I'm, I'm going yeah, back to Korea. Yeah. So then our parents, they actually listened to us. So my dad came back here without any like deadline for when mm -hmm. we would get back onto the same household. Mm -hmm. And the only promise that I had to make to my parents and to my brother was that we would study hard. That was like, let's make their sacrifice worthwhile. My brother, yeah. he was so mature for his age. He was like basically the dad of the household from 13 through when he went to college. My dad called every single day, like four mm -hmm. times. But even so, like any time that my mom needed anything, yeah. he was always helping. Like This is the Asian like sacrifice and all this like, yeah. So I asked him earlier, but would you ever consider moving to live in Korea? I mean, obviously his salary, what he gets paid in America is way more than what you can get <coughs> in Korea. I only fans, that was not only fans Korea. <laughs> Do they have it? I, have it. I actually don't even think that salary is like a huge deal, but I, I still think America's home. Yeah, because that is home for you. It's home. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I would just easily. Yeah. I think I think for for me, Korea is always a place where I have like vacation. Yeah, he likes maybe it's coming. better that way. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. It's better that way. Having yeah. little bits of something right, small makes dosage. you miss it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think if I were to live here, it might feel different. Actually. Okay, so yeah, what is like the some of the cultural shocks that you get every time you visit? Do you have those cultural shocks? Yeah. There's just so many positive feelings I get after yeah. I come back from uh, Korea. Yeah. Because actually, culturally, they're very different. So it's different. Very different. Very different. I mean, one of the things I had to really adjust to when I came back from living in the UK was like. Everyone in the UK, if you made eye contact uh, with true, the person true, behind true. you, you have to hold the door open. In Korea, nobody does that. And now I've become this person. I'm like, I don't care. Nobody does it oh. for me. So I don't hold oh, that's the door one bad thing. That's a bad thing. <laughs> for anything you notice like that when you come? New York especially. Mm -hmm. America is a country, but New York especially. It's a city of individuality. Yes. And I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> like, oh. You do whatever you want. You do you. I do me. Mm. And I think that has translated to a lot of problems. Mm. And not only like the cleanliness of the city, mm. the crime, mm. theft. Mm. I've had my laptop stolen from K-Town, mm. literally two minutes on my cell phone. I was like, this sort of stuff won't happen yeah, here, right? Yeah, it doesn't happen here. There's a level of uniformity that I think uh, maybe inadvertently uh. you get people who are a little more respectful about people's space, yes. about their belongings. If you lose your wallet, you have hope that someone might return it. Literally, you, you'll find it. And I, I love that. It's almost like a sense of camaraderie. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't know you, but I still somewhat care about you. And I think that makes me feel great, actually. Yeah, 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 I feel yeah. a lot more like the rules that are maintained here keep it a little more civilized in, it is in many civilized, ways. Yeah. You know, you're not seeing people urinate all over like <laughs> I swear to god I've seen some crazy stuff in New York living there 10 years I'm like if this were ever in Korea that would never fly no one would imagine that yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot different it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot different it's a lot different do you think the representation of like Koreans or Asians in general has changed over the years since you were a kid Definitely. So what was it like when you were like a teen? The fact that I even brought kimchi to, and I was embarrassed about bringing oh, like kimbap that's a big thing. to school. Yeah. I think that says a lot. That's a big thing. Now it's like, oh cool, like what kind of sushi is that? Mm. Right? There's a level of curiosity mm. and respect for other cultures. Mm. I think as a, as a whole globe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. not cool to be bigoted. Yeah, yeah. But we grew up in a totally different climate back then. Yeah. When I was growing up in the UK, I was trying to keep in touch with like Korean culture, mm. Korean pop culture. That's why when YouTube was like becoming a thing, I kept uh, trying to keep K-dramas, K-pop. Because I was like, I don't feel represented. Uh, I, see. I don't see any of like Asian people in the media. Uh -huh. you know, that's why I try to stay in touch. And what's really cool about your channel is that you're allowing other people to discover it too. Yeah. Like your guides, mom. I actually sent that to my friends. I sent it to my friend who was visiting, yeah. I was like, dude, she knows everything everything about Akujo. I was like, take notes. He's going there later. <laughs> I, I mean, I always go there. I, don't, I didn't even I watched it just for my, you know, entertainment. Entertainment, he knows. My, but my friends watched it for <laughs> their knowledge. Okay, that's, I think that's enough. Um, thank you for speaking to me. Enjoy your last weekend in Seoul. Oh my God, you made me cry. You're not gonna fucking I'm cry. I'm gonna cry. Don't lie. Follow this guy. I have a lot of American, like people that live in New York, I'm sure they know you, a lot of them know you. Say something. I love you. He's such a playboy. <laughs> Bye.